Uh, so I'm going to change everything that I planned and speak about this a lot faster than I planned to, okay? And the presentations before us were about very practical, wonderful, useful things and this is more about policies and things. So we've sat here for like three or four hours, so I hope not to send you to sleep. I'll try my hardest. Um, training, uh, a mind-blowing topic. To be better at whatever you do, you need training. Uh, university, pre-service training, can't teach, whatever profession you are, everything changes, culture, teaching methods, our moods, everything affects what we do on a daily basis and training makes us better. I'm preaching to the converted, it's obvious. Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, training for ALTs, uh, because there's not a lot of training for ALTs. Uh, this is the outline I've taught, I'm just about needs, does, do ALTs need training? Yes. It's almost a rhetoric question, what I just said, but uh, I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Um, then I'm going to talk about the training course that I and a small group of people have developed, and some future directions. This is the long bit, this I'm just going to explain the course to you in this, you know, the two or three slides there only. Needs analysis, so do ALTs need training? Um, we're going to look at it from very different points of views, but to begin with, for those who, there are lots of ALTs here anyway, but what are ALTs, who are the ALTs? There's three main hiring bodies, right? There's the direct hires, there's jet ALTs, Hi. and private hires, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> all here. And um, uh, as of 2014, there, there was like this. Okay, so there's uh, like that. There's another table here to make it even clearer. Over the years, it, uh, the current ALT standard, the way it is now, started with only jets in 1987. Okay, then in like seven years later, it became legal to have uh, direct hire from the boards of education and private companies. Uh, these numbers are very, very difficult to divide. Like, what's a board of education? What's a private company? Because ALTs come and go week by week, month by month, year by year. And the companies come and go, you know, and they don't have to give their numbers of how many ALTs they have. So it's a very, and the Board of Education, you have to go to the Board of Education to get the numbers. So it's, it's you know, it's not easy. It's almost impossible to find out exactly. But Jet, you know, it's all about figures, 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 being connected to the government. Um, Declining-ish and increasing. Why? That's not really a question, but... Okay, so uh, before we look at training, let's look at the current state, state of things. Um, the hiring criteria for all ALTs, you don't need teaching qualifications. Hey, teach, but you don't need to be a teacher. Um, and it's not necessary. You know, the first line of, uh, of JET and everyone else is interest in Japan, you know, share your cultural views and all of this. Good or bad, who knows, but it's not to be a teacher. Um, Pre-service training, there are what, 50 or 60 private groups, boards of, boards of education from the prefecture, municipal and the city, then JET, they, they all vary. Some don't give any training, Interact give like five days or so, pre-service. Uh, JET, you get like 50 minutes communication thing. Yeah. And all the JETs tell me, you know, we don't have training, we, you know, it's just a massive room of people, we, we don't know what's going on. Um, and in-service training, some have none, some just have like the SDC or some have a monthly meeting. It's not really training. So, you know, well, hey, we need training, but, but do we? Let's continue this question. Uh, because there's so many groups, 50, 60, 100, who knows, they're not connected. They're, there's no communication. There's, you know, Boards of Education have no communication with JET, have no communication with the private company, this private company. Is private. The, the LTs are not connected, but I think they should be. You know, we should, we should grow as a, as a group together. Um, so, what do the government want? If there's clearly, you don't need to be have qualifications or a background in teaching, and nobody's offering training, uh, do they even want teachers? Okay, to find out what the government wants is is no easy task. So Aspinall gives us three ways we can find out what the government wants. From whistleblowers, that that book, um, Importing Diversity, he it was kind of an inside view. So people who are having arguments inside the government, coming out and saying something in the newspapers, you can get information. For disagreements. Um, you can read the policies. We're going to look at some policies. 
and uh, technocrats or officials what, what they can say. How reliable that is, I don't know. But the most important thing here is not just reading the policies. See how, the policies can say anything. Hey, everybody, let's give them more training. But do they actually do it? Look at how thoroughly they're followed through with. Da, 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 da. If I'm speaking too fast, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll slow down a bit, so I'll, I'll read your faces, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, the current ALT thing... <laughs> my <laughs> words, I'm, I'm taking it in. Uh, the current ALT thing isn't the first one. They, they, Japan's been importing people for, since the major area or so. Uh, in the 50s and 60s, uh, the wow, Tefl experts were brought to Japan, um, but their thinking and methods clashed, they thought, well, let's, let's not do that. Then in 1987, um, uh, Jet started, and as one says, they were expected to return. You know, there was an, there was an age limit. You've got to be young. You've got to be Genki. Then you know, go. We'll pay for your plane fare, and you still do, right? Mm -hmm. And um, but, and in two thousand eight, the the in the course of studies, the wording was like this. It's, it's so grey area that like it's a foreign helper, I teach it, um, for employed for foreign language education. So. Or foreign educa education, oh, you're a teacher, but you're a helper, you're a, what are you, who knows? Um, let's continue the needs analysis. Uh, so by, what, 2003, the Minister of Education, so we'll go back. So this one is like, we're not really here to teach, okay? Then a couple of years later, they were saying, hey, you know, we'll, um, we need to give teacher licenses to foreign teachers, you know, we'll, 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 Let's meet your teachers. Then in 2011, uh, they're a valuable asset. Uh, we should revise contract laws. We should consider employing foreigners as teachers. Should, 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 should. There's mixed for you. Um, we should strengthen ALT programs. Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we should promote the influence of teachers. And we need students to be able to have presentations and, and discuss things. So we need the ALTs to do this. We we, we should, and uh, that we should we should give training for. I don't say should, but you know, they need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> and they're considering solo teaching. Ajax said that that's, that's successful. Um, none of these things happen, of course. So, are they serious about wanting to uh, train teachers or uh, giving some training? away from the government policies, because they're kind of a bit vague and you know, we, we should do all this, but you know, nothing's happening, nothing's happening as a result of the policies. Let's look at the stakeholders. What do they have to say? The stakeholders will be the employers, the JTs, the students, and the ALTs. Okay, some very, very simple questions. Uh, are they looking for competent teachers? Uh, do they want to work with qualified teachers? Do they want to be taught by teachers who know what they're doing? <laughs> and do they want to be good teachers? These should be rhetoric questions, in, in my opinion, okay? Hey, but, hey, from what we've just seen from the policies, they're not. So let's ask them, let's look at some research about them. Um, this came from Yokohama Board of Education. In two years, we won't be hiring any more JET ALTs, apart from you. Uh, we want people who have experience in living in Japan and speak Japanese. And you can see the board, JET announces this on their website, the boards of education that have stopped employing JETs and the numbers of JETs that are in places. So there's a reason for the trend of people saying, no, no, we don't want JET ALTs. Um, and this gentleman, Danny, he gave a presentation at JAL in 2017. There's the web link. I'm gonna put all these slides online to you. I don't have a QR code, sorry. Um, he made a strong argument. He was like, "Jet should be the gold standard," but it's not. You know, thirty years ago, it was a you know, it wasn't an education thing. It was just a, an agreement between the two, two the president and the prime minister. Um, you know, to have a kind of cultural thing. But you know, all the kids watch YouTube. You, you know, the, the world is a different place. It doesn't need all these. You know, come here and, and bring more to culture to this country. It's here. It's in their pockets. It's in their house. So maybe we should come here to teach. He says like the 45 billion that's spent on jet alone. Remember, there's board of education and there's uh, private hires too. So there's billions and billions and billions. We're just paying for, in his words, we're paying for Tarquin into his gap year. We're paying for Josephine to find herself in Asia, kind of thing. 
I wish they were my words. They were. I made you laugh, and they're not my words. Thank you, Danny. The, the, the initial thing was to get young people all around the world who were and have a, a connection with Japan, and they succeeded. So we're not. Now we're here. Teach. Yeah, people all around the world who know about Japan from living here and who have. I mean, there's been lots of follow-up studies of, of people that have worked in Japan and gone back to their country. Mm -hmm. And some studies have said it's failed because they've gone back to the country and done nothing associated with Japan or Asia. They've just gone and got their jobs, it's just a, a little bit of experience. Mm -hmm. But some studies say the opposite, they've worked mm -hmm. in like, ministries, uh, Japanese ministries in America or somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit of anything. I mean, there's 20,000 LT, so whatever I'm saying here, it was going to apply to everyone differently, very differently. So it's very difficult to say. Like I mean, Tokyo, and everyone's saying, you know, I have these high-level students, or these, you know, we do meditation. We can't do any of this in other places. There's no way. Uh, so what do the JTU say? Uh, these are some studies. Of course, there's so much variety. There's thousands of teachers. Um, this is from a, this study. They want to work with somebody who's a teacher. We're going to touch on this a little bit more. Um, one JT said, getting good LT is like winning the lottery. And from my study a couple of years ago, LTs leave just as they're getting good. Mm. Turnaround is so incredible. Um, related to this would be the amount of time that they have. There's one study, this was just a single JT who would say, look, 30% of my time is spent on teaching duties. I've got paperwork, I've got club activities, I've got whatever different roles in the school, I don't have time to like babysit this ALT in the class. And they're kind of all saying the, the same thing, that to come and go, come and go, and it's became Japanese, doesn't understand Japanese culture. It, uh, it's stressful, you know, so the more empathetic we can be, the more training, the more able we are, great. And this was from my study, 40%, but two of the teachers, it's the next study I'm gonna talk about, were retiring, so they didn't have any duties. So that's, it's probably a lot lower. They were like 10 or 20 percent. Uh, the students, they are the people we're teaching. And few studies have asked the students, you know, maybe age level or maturity or whatever comes into it, but there's very few studies. The ones that I did find, um, there's one here, there's also contradictory studies too, right? To support my argument, I put this one. <laughs> but yeah, they want to be taught by a native speaker. And there are other studies like this. Um, Motivation goes up when we talk by an ALT. Um, uh, Hamada is in Akita, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of research about demotivation. What are the demotivating things? Or after motive, because everyone's looking at motivation, right? And he said from junior high school level, it's uh, the it's the, the yakadoka. The you know the, the you don't need a, a teaching degree to teach yakadoka. You just open a textbook and go send them to sleep. But also there's the gap between elementary and junior high school, right? Mm -hmm. And Rapley, he did a study in junior high school, similar to mine, before it was a great study. Uh, his finding was that they, they, they liked English, they knew it was important, but they were, it was the least motivating subject for them to want to do. Uh, ALTs, hey, all in one. Okay, um, so this was on an age of publication, I would like more training. And that goes with, you know, I'm always all about ALT stuff, so I'm speaking to hundreds of ALTs all the time, and all saying the same thing. I'd like more training, but 50%-ish, I wouldn't, you know, I don't care. I just came here for a year, and I'm off. Um, there's a consensus in the ALTs that I say there was about 170, and about 60% were JET ALTs, and they were like, yes, 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 training, training, training. Um, and this was an email with my website and stuff, we get emails like this all the time. I thought this was, he, word, he or she worded it really, really well. I'm a first year LT with a junior high school as my main and six elementary schools that I rotate around. I had the unfortunate luck of being placed with a difficult AL JTE with high expectations, gesture, and very little time to talk to me. Any training I could receive would be great. I have no idea where to begin or what to do. I'm very helpless at the moment. So we get lots of emails like this or people on our Facebook group like this, you know, what you're doing is great, please keep it up. And uh, I intend to. Okay, so this is the mistake, teacher A, teacher B. Okay? Uh, I just had this last night, because, you know, I've looked at this, we've looked at the stakeholders, uh, the, the policies, then the employers, the JTEs, the ALTs, and the students. 
But I just had this because to be motivated to train, you know, just go and teach, go on, off you go. That you've got to have like some intrinsic motivation or some sort of peer group or something. So I, I just kind of added this, right? Um, teacher A, teacher B. 19, doesn't speak Japanese, has never taught before, has history BA, no teacher qualifications, no interest in teaching. Teacher B, mid 30s, not me, speaks fluent Japanese, not me. 12 years teaching linguistics, BA, qualified and has a TEFL MA. Which one's paid more? No. Sometimes. There yes. is no more. Yes. Why? <laughs> I'm going to say the opportunities are a lot more varied. Like there's a lot more opportunities for a 19 year old graduate than there is for a 30 year old. Mm. This one's a jet. This one's yeah. a direct hire. Yeah. Okay, or a oh. private hire. Yeah. Oh, direct hire. Oh, direct experience. to the school or direct to a company? When you say direct. Oh, direct so it would be the Board of Education. Yeah. yeah. So direct yeah. Board of Education. Yeah. There's more funding for jet. No. 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 Wow. Oh, yes. 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 exactly. So, I mean, I work with people, you know, in the GLTs, the eight ALTs email me. I'm a PhD graduate, you know, I've been a teacher for 30 years. Then this 18 year old person comes, works in the same office, gets paid more than them. So, are they really motivated to be a, like, do teacher training? <laughs> These guys generally are, you, you know, I'm not being rude, but generally, very generally. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, they're not, we've looked at the previous before, or, you know, people want to be, sorry, they want to work with trained teachers or the, you know, but is there any real intrinsic motivation to teach, to, to, to improve your teaching potential? Uh, okay, that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so, I hope I've established in that very, very quick time that there is a need for training. Okay, I know it's a little bit one-sided, that there is the opposite too, but there's 20,000 ALTs in ALS, and we get a lot of emails like this, and lots of people on the course, we get like 3,000 hits a week on our website, um, but I'm obviously not the first person to think of this. Um, so, uh, most of the research is by people at universities looking into the schools, right? So this guy is based in Niigata too. LTs are a valuable source of experience. You know, what we can offer to the schools with uh, more competency. Then um, Crooks, 29, 18 years ago, by denying LTs uh, the less effective, uh, less effective their potential for positively influencing team teaching relationships. They need this training to improve the schools, administrations, the families, and Japanese society. Without training, it will go unrealized. Um, for the C for the course of studies, the COS uh, in service uh, context specific training is needed. So in service whilst you're working. This is all quite obvious, right? And the flower forum was set up uh, by these researchers in Hokkaido eight years ago, and it's the same thing. It's uh, it's closed now because they didn't have enough. They didn't have any funding from the Board of Education, but they did get some funding. They set up a flower forum, and through the Board of Education, they had access to ALTs before they came to Japan. They set up a forum for people to come to Japan to ask questions, and it was a form of training like what we're going to expect. And it was a it built a community. It was a nice source. So our training is kind of modelled on this a little bit. Okay, so over to ALT training online. The website is what we're getting to. Get there. <laughs> uh, so you've got to do lots of research on open access training, okay? And um, that, that's that's our philosophy, right? It's we're not charging money, we're not, you know, it's it's free, it's open access, which is the way the world is going. Um, we're looking at massive open online courses. Uh, we know on the negative point that online courses there's like a ten percent completion rate <laughs> on lots and lots of different research, but so we're trying to do loads about being building a community teach training and community building to kind of parallel off each other. Uh, the course is designed by literature and it's crowdsourced by what ALTs say they want. The principles uh, to teach by the course of studies, to strengthen their relationships and to build a community of ALTs. Okay, uh, ALT training is two websites. There's ALT training online 
and Alcopedia, which is a teacher resources website. There are two websites. Uh, I'm only going to talk about this just quickly, okay? Uh, that's just a resources website. Okay. Um, the modules, there are three categories. And we hope they appeal to all kinds of people. There's contextual modules, so people that want to know more about Japan or where they're teaching. You know that if you work in any country, Poland or Russia or Spain or Latvia, wherever you work, you've got to teach or work according to that kind of culture, that kind of atmosphere. So there's lots of contextual stuff there. Practical teaching modules, the four skills, plus vo uh, vocabulary and phonics, because there's lots of course of study stuff about phonics, especially at elementary school. Then for those that want to go further, professional development, we want to get ALTs doing research. You know, most of the research is done by researchers coming in from university. We get ALTs themselves, hey, this is what's happening in the school. You know, not just a, a fake questionnaire. We're getting cut on a picture, but not the real picture. And publish through JAL. Yes. Then, of course, uh, we need a TLBT. I'm sorry. So this clear. Okay. Slash um, TV, TLBT. I could even define the difference, but film. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the website. So you go to the website, and there's um, contextual teaching and press building. We've got a blog and a shop. So you go on there, then it would drop down menu, then you go to the um, module, you would read it, then answer the reflection questions. And of course, copy your answers onto our Facebook group and become part of the community. But we're building a new website. This is about four years old. And this is the homepage of the new website. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Mm. We've got some more video on there, so bring your videos onto our Facebook group or let's talk or something. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Because uh, it's like static text, right? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get more videos and things involved in it. Uh, we're hoping for March, next month. Mm -hmm. We're getting there, it's a slow process, but we're getting there. Um, connectivity, that's the main thing, to build this community. Complete the course and speak to all the 20,000 LTs and grow together. So there's a reflection course, reflection questions on the modules. Uh, we had a blog for two years, so every month we release a new blog by guest writers. We've got a whole range of topics and we're constantly get asking ALTs to write to us and write a guest blog about your experience about meditation. What a nice little blog, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have a Facebook group and affiliations. Because we're not saying, hey, choose us, we're the one ALT place to go, that's it. So we're affiliated with all these people with like link swaps and stuff. Choose your flavour, you know, if that's if that works for you, if that works for you, if that whatever mm -hmm. works for you. Go there, okay. So we're linking to all of these people. It's Edinburgh University, there too. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. and we're starting a newsletter next month. Ooh. There's the QR code to sign up, and um, we're just constantly evolving, trying to just yeah, QR code that. Got a QR code. We're trying to bring everything together, you know, yeah. more movies and things. Mm. We've got about three thousand hits a month. The Don't people we? actually doing the work. No, no, no. So I, saw, I saw some of it online. It, it's in the hundred, but what we haven't done is put trackers on the website, how many people are doing it and where they're from and stuff. Mm. And we've kind of, we, we kind of don't want to like, morally see yeah. where everyone is and stuff, but I think we're, we're kind of always, ah, we should really, because we need some figures. Mm. So that's something we're always discussing with, and with yeah. Um, Future plans, uh, more video, more affiliates. Uh, we need module writers for these three modules. So if you want to write one, please come join us and write a blog, yay! <laughs> and, uh, we we want to make a writing circle eventually when there's more people interested in doing research and getting it published. Uh, Melody Cook wrote the uh, writing your article module. So it's on, it's up, it's live. And uh, the modules, just quickly, are done mostly by JAL people. Uh, so that one's just recently finished by David Colton. Got some great people. Yeah, yeah, they really, you know, yeah, this is we need this. And this is necessary. Uh, John Anderson have just has done that. Um, Charles Brown is writing that, and Rob Waring is doing the reading one, of course. Yeah, nice. Doing research. That's by uh, Sean Mahoney. He's uh, does a lot of ALT research and publishes on that. Okay, and I think that's it. I did it. Yeah, there's lots of pages of research. I've been so long, so please read through those. Yes, please. Where can we look at it? I'm going to put it on the new website in March. Okay. okay. With this video. Hi.
Okay. <laughs> no. Done. Yes. Okay. Twenty minutes. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah.